Hey, this is Taylor from Count, and in this video we are going to be talking all about alerts. Now, alerts were designed uh, to help you and your team get notified about things that are happening with your data, even if you're not in the Canvas looking at it. So, what's what it means? I mean, if you have uh, some data quality issues, you might want to be let you know get notified when a query errors or when you suddenly have duplicates, things like that. Or you might just want to send out really important numbers on a regular basis to your team or to whoever's involved and needs to know, and so you can use alerts as a way to get numbers to the people that need them exactly when they need them. So uh, let's take a closer look. So um, these these alerts here, these are the ones that we've built, and these are things that we might probably want to send out on a schedule to our team. So we do this daily data drop ourselves internally, so we have this, uh, basically this exact design that goes out to our, our Slack channel, our general Slack channel, every day that gives us the numbers that we care about as a team, and that's just there for us to look at all the time. Now, how do we set this up uh, in, as an alert? So first of all, if we click the frame, we'll see this little alert button here, and if we say add alert. So now we've got, uh, we go over here to our alert menu on the right-hand side, which again, it's just behind design here, and uh, we can see our alert has showed up here. And let's look at some of the other options that we have. So first off, we have we can test the alert. And basically, this is a good way before you connect it to Slack and you send it to loads of people. Maybe you want to see what it's going to look like and make sure everything works OK. So you can hit test before you go ahead and just send it to you know everybody. Um, and then next, you have Slack channel. So you'll be asked if you want to connect to Slack. And if you do, then you'll have your full kind of list of Slack channels available. So again, you can send it to your general channel like this. And lastly, you have your schedule. And this is really kind of key to alerts, is alerts really run on this concept of a schedule. So the schedule tells, uh, basically decides when the queries are going to be rerun. And once they're rerun, then everything will be sent out. So we can decide we want this, uh, these queries to run every day at you know, 5 a.m. And make sure you look at your time zone that you're in. And at that time, then um, the canvas will go ahead and rerun those queries and then send out your alerts to whoever's been on them. Now on that point, um, on who receives alerts, so by default, uh, alerts will go to um, anyone via email that subscribed to a canvas. So if you go into a canvas, you can see this unsubscribe from updates here. Now if you built a canvas, you'll be automatically subscribed. Otherwise, you're going to have to subscribe to the canvas to get alerts via email. Um, and this is why using Slack is a really great way to just, you can manage, if you know that these, this group of people need to see this data, then being able to add it to a Slack channel is a really quick way to make sure that they have that visibility that they need. Um, but otherwise, if you guys are have like a, a team that's working in a Canvas a lot, you can come make sure you guys are all subscribed um, to the Canvas and you'll get the emails as well. Cool, so the other type of alert that we mentioned is more around data quality, so, you know, you want to be told if a query that you care about errors, if suddenly there's some duplication or your data is doing something funny and you want to, you want to know when that happens. So um, for that, we can look at something like, uh, let's just take this cell here. And let's say this is a really important cell and we want to know if this errors. So just like before, we can go ahead and have the same button here, add alert. And now we can see our cell A here. Now we want to do something slightly different here because we don't want this to just tell us that this query has run every day. We only want to receive a notification if it fails. So we can go into this configure alert button here. And now we see this trigger option. So if we open this up, we can see all the different ways that we can configure a trigger event that when that's passed, then we receive a notification. So for example, in this case, we really want query error. So when this cell errors, I want to be told about it. So we can hit query error on that. And you can extend this to a lot of different types of use cases. Um, so for example, you could do one like this when there are duplicates found, then you can make sure you get a notification. Or when there's missing rows, you can make sure you get a notification. And basically you can do that as a combination of using your, your SQL like this and certain trigger events. So again, if I wanted to, this one here, this should never return any rows because there should never be any duplicates. So I can say if a row is returned, then I want to know, and that means there's a duplicate. Now what's nice um, that you've kind of maybe figured out based on the different examples is that you can set alerts uh, up on a lot of different types of objects. So uh, for example, this is on a frame, which means when I get an alert, I'm going to get all this context around it. So if you want to know that 
when you get an alert about this cell, you want to have this additional contextual information about it, then you can put it in a frame and make sure that's all there, which is what we did over here, right? Um, or if you just want the data and you want to, you kind of just want to play with it and you want to just be alerted to different things, you can just set an alert up on a cell or even a visual, you can add an alert that way, and that's just going to send the cell or visual, again, either based on the trigger or based on the schedule. And I recommend starting with that before you really have to worry too much about laying out a frame and adding all the context. You can always iterate that as you go, but just starting really simply with adding an alert to cells that you care about, making, making sure you're tracking errors, all that kind of stuff would be a good place to start with this. And lastly, all these templates, uh, or sorry, all these frames that we've shown you here are templates for you to use. So if you did want to start using any of these, just head into our template section and you can import them and start making them your own. And anyway, that is it for alerts. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. We're, we're super excited about this feature. Like I said, we use it all the time ourselves. If you have any questions, comments, uh, you know where to find us in the help menu. And yeah, that's it for now. Until next time. Bye.